The Joro spider can grow to the size of your palm and is distinguished by its bright colored body. Joros are native to Asia and were first documented in the U.S. almost a decade ago. They can bite humans, but it's usually less painful than a bee sting. Now, a tweet from Axios quoted more than 20,000 times claims they will colonize the entire East Coast this spring by parachuting down from the sky. So, let's verify. Did a study on Joro spiders saying they'll colonize the entire East Coast by the spring? Our sources are a study on Joro spiders published from the University of Georgia, the Penn State Extension, and Andy Davis, a researcher who worked on the study. Scientists believe Joros hitched a ride to the U.S. in packing material from Asia and began flourishing in Georgia. Since their arrival in 2013, they've spread throughout parts of the Southeast. Researchers at the University of Georgia found in a study published earlier this year that the spiders are more resilient than previously thought and can survive in colder climates, such as more northern parts of the East Coast. However, Davis tells Verify that their study did not address how far the Joros will spread or when they will arrive. So, no, a study on Joro spiders did not say they'll colonize the entire East Coast by the spring. A fact sheet published by Penn State Extension found they've only spread about 10 miles every year, but Davis says they could hitch a ride. I would say definitely coming. It's a matter of when, that's, that's the real question. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. If you have something you want us to verify, go ahead and send us a message. You can email us verify at whas11.com or find our Verify team on both Facebook and Twitter.